When Pixar and Disney started creating the first ever computer animated feature film in history, they just wanted to bring their vision to life and were determined to do it no matter what. We believed in what we were doing. We believed in ourselves. They knew that their knowledge and experience in this field were not perfect and full of flaws. It was weird. We didn't they never made a movie before none of us. It was like, what do you want to make? Just click down there. Oh, the, the left button. But they were insistent on making it and took action, starting it at any cost. This is awesome. Just go back and watch Toy Story 1 again. For example, look at this clock. See how the lower strap is sharp because of the low poly count. Or look at this part. See how the screen of the desk lamp is embedded in the mesh. Or look at this part where Woody's hands are sunk into the blanket mesh. And many other things like textures, reflections, and so on. Just compare this animation with its recent versions and you'll see how each time they get better and better and better. Eventually become the Pixar and Disney that amaze everyone with everything they produce today. Back then, even without powerful computers, they had the courage to create, release, and screen it, and they made it happen. So why shouldn't an artist like you learn from this, and just start creating and publishing your work, and gradually improve it? Even knowing that your knowledge in this field isn't complete, I want you to believe in yourself and just start. And most importantly, have the courage to do it, just like Pixar and Disney. Steve Jobs said, if you do your job right, what you create can last forever. Welcome to the Blender story from zero to Andy's room course. This is a completely free beginner course in Blender where you will learn how to model this entire room in the software. What are you waiting for? Let's get it started. In the 3D world, there are two very important principles, storytelling and creativity. So why not use these two principles from the start to learn Blender? To apply these two principles, we need one thing, imagination. Imagine it's 1995 and Pixar and Disney are about to produce the Toy Story animation. They need a 3D modeler to model the room of one of the characters, Andy, and they've chosen you for this responsibility. They want you to use Blender for this task, which luckily is a completely free software. Here's the list of models you need to create. Well, what could be better than this? There's just one problem. You've never worked with Blender before, and maybe you haven't even used any 3D software at all. But that's okay, because I'm going to be with you step by step and help you successfully complete this responsibility. So, if you are interested in this work and want to take on this responsibility, let's get it started quickly. The first step is very simple. Open the web browser you use and type in blender.org. Click on download here, then click download again here to start the download process. The installation process is very easy. Double click the installer file and keep clicking next until it's installed. Now open Blender and now let's start our adventure. Uh, okay, when you open Blender for the first time, the first thing that stands out is this window called the splash screen. Splash screen is quite common in most software and changes its appearance with each new version. For now, we don't need to know much about it. I'll introduce it to you later. Just click anywhere your mouse is to close the splash screen. And now, let's start our adventure. Usually, anyone opening a new software for the first time, especially one they have never used before, reacts the same way you did. What the- This is the perfect time to panic! Fear. Not panic, but fear. So many buttons and options. Why? This is a completely normal reaction. It's exactly like moving to a new city. Your unfamiliarity with the city makes you feel this way. But everyone knows that just by going out and exploring, you'll gradually feel more comfortable in that new city. Eventually, you'll navigate to your destination without asking, thinking, or even searching on Google Maps. And you might not even remember how you got there. So, remember this. Whenever you start learning new software, the best way is to quickly familiarize yourself with the user interface. Get to know the software environment so you can feel comfortable using it. So, don't worry too much about these icons and windows. To help you focus, hover your mouse over the middle of your screen and press Control Space. Don't worry, if you press Control Space again, the software will go back to its original state. These types of shortcuts are called toggle keys. They just have two states. So, Control Space 
will make the user interface less cluttered, allowing you to focus on your work. Now, at this stage, you need to familiarize yourself with navigation in Blender. This way, you can easily view all parts of your 3D object. In any 3D software, there are three general navigation modes. The first mode is Orbit. To orbit, hold down the middle mouse button and then move your mouse. Try to take control of the scene. What are you waiting for? Don't you want to try it? A humble request. I'm willing to let you skip liking the video, subscribing to the channel, or hitting the bell button to get updates from meme videos, but instead, please accept my request. If you truly want to learn and have promised yourself to master the software and work professionally in this field, then always, 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 in every video, when I do something or teach you something new, go and immediately do it yourself in the software. The things I do might seem very simple and understandable, but learning happens when you pause the video after learning something new and go to do these simple things yourself. You'll definitely feel the difference and you might even face some difficulties with these simple tasks at first. Remember the first time you rode a bike? We all thought we could do it, and we did. But before that, we failed many times, right? So I'll pause the video for you to make sure you go and do it. Don't worry, I'm not controlling your system. I was just kidding. But I'll play some music for you for just one minute and won't say anything during that time. It's your choice whether to skip ahead and watch the rest of the video or do this task while the music plays and it starts with my count three two one Okay, I hope you did it. Now, let's continue. So, you learned how to orbit. Now, let's move on to the second navigation mode, Dolly. To Dolly and zoom in on the object, first hold down the control key and then the middle mouse button and move your mouse up and down. The direction of the mouse movement is very important. This also applies to orbiting. For orbiting, we just use the middle mouse button. If you move the mouse left and right, you can rotate around the subject and see its sides, but if you move the mouse up and down, you can also see the top and the bottom of the object. Exciting, right? According to research, people who engage actively and have personal experience during learning and perform the actions they see learn both deeper and faster compared to those who only observe and consume educational videos. Now let's move on to the third mode, which is tracking or panning. So far you've seen that the middle mouse button is used in both modes. I leave the third mode, track, up to you to test out. Here's a hint. The middle mouse button is one of the buttons you need to hold down. Try to find the second key yourself. Don't worry, I'm sure you can guess it. Just to make it more fun and see who guessed it right, write in the comments what key you think should be held along with the middle mouse button. Okay? I'll play another one minute music for you. Three, two, one. One.
There are two possibilities. Either you use the Alt key or the Shift key. Well, there's also a third possibility that you didn't use either of these keys. In that case, since I can't guess what happened, close the software and reopen it. Those who used the Alt key experienced a new method and switched from perspective to orthographic mode. To exit this mode, just hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to exit the mode. But the correct answer was the Shift key. You can first hold down the Shift key, then hold the middle mouse button and move your mouse up and down or left and right to track or pan in the 3D viewport. What's the 3D viewport? It's the window where you learned to navigate. I mean, this part. Now, let's do a recap and review the important points. In this section, we learned three navigation modes in the 3D viewport. Let's make sure you remember. What were the shortcut keys for the orbit? That's correct. Middle mouse button. What about dolly? Correct. And what was the hotkey for track? Correct. Okay, now tell me what shortcut did we use to make the viewport less cluttered? Correct. Control space. Now, here in the top right corner of the screen, we have the navigation gizmo, which is also common in most 3D software. You can use it to navigate in the scene. To orbit, just hover your mouse over the gizmo, hold down the left click and move your mouse. If you click on any of these axes, you will center the orthographic view of that axis. I'll explain more about axes later, so don't worry too much about it. To exit this mode, just hold left click button on the gizmo and move your mouse. Or you can use the middle mouse button, which you are familiar with. To dolly, hold down the left click button on this icon and move your mouse forward or backward. To track, hold down the mouse button on this icon and move your mouse left or right. By clicking on this icon, you can switch the viewport between orthographic and perspective mode. All right, that's it for now. In the next section, you'll learn how to move and reposition objects in the scene. And don't worry about the responsibility Pixar has given you. In part three, we're going to create our first 3D model. And if you believe in yourself, you can upload it on the web and show the world how serious you are. And you'll also show Pixar that they definitely made the right choice. Remember, don't like, don't subscribe and don't hit the bell, but go and do the things you've seen and experienced so that you're ready for the next part. See you there.